All right. Well, let's do some uh, weekend entertainment picks, Bob. Um, I'll go first. So for TV, the Mad Men finale. This, for me, is probably the biggest TV night of the year for me on Sunday, Mad Men being my favorite current show. And as we mentioned in our recap, unlike Game of Thrones, where the next to last episode is usually the biggest, Mad Men has given us plenty of big revelations in the finales, so I'm super excited for this one. Um, but just to, to get on the list, in case any of our listeners are fans of these shows, these are starting this week. Uh, Wilfred started last night. 666 Park Avenue starts on Saturday, and Copper is back on Sunday. Copper? Um, Have yeah, you watched Copper? No. Uh, I, I saw half of the first season. Um, Eva really likes it, and I don't know what happened. We I think she might have wa- finished it without me, but... She, it's British, and it's got some quirky things, and I couldn't quite follow it. Yeah, the British thing is I have to really be talked into seeing a British show. So if enough <laughs> people recommend it, then maybe I'll break down. But I know some people like it, so I brought it up. If I see any of those, it'll probably be Wilfred, to be quite honest. Um, anyway, that's, uh, that's what's happening TV this week. Tell us about movies, Bob. Uh, so... Uh... Both ha- caught my eye. One of them is one of the main picks that I uh, gave a long time ago, World War Z, mm. um, directed by Mark Foster and starring Brad Pitt. That's Brad Pitt's entry into the zombie genre. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. Got to start sometime. I'm excited for this movie. It's looking great. Uh, director's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... so uh, Mark Foster has directed Finding Neverland, Stranger Than Fiction. He's also done a James Bond movie, so he's kind of all over the place, but he's a good director overall. I think he's got a, a good handle, uh, and he's, he's never done a zombie movie, so I'm um, looking forward to, to Brad Pitt. Um, the other movie out this weekend, The Bling Ring. So this is Sofia Coppola's latest movie. She's uh, Oh, that was what I was going to ask you about, was my, uh, my little, what do you think of this one? So I'm, I'm glad this made your list. Tell us yeah. about it. Yeah, so uh, Sofia Coppola did Lost in Translation. Um, I think she won an Oscar for that. And this movie is uh, its based on true events. It's about uh, some L.A. girls who uh, to start, they, they decide to start stealing to kind of basically pay for their celebrity lifestyle. And it's, it's supposedly there's some satire here about what is culture and how important are certain things in life and what's, what's important to you. I'm probably overstating these themes are probably not as heavy-handed as that, but uh, it seems relevant since we're a, a podcast uh, called Practically Culture, and uh, <laughs> I want to see what these uh, girls that need to steal things to feel cultured uh, end up doing, um, and it, it looks like a fun movie, too. So, Cool, yeah, like I say, that sort of caught my eye. I'm glad uh, you're interested. Um, of course, got World War Z as the must-see on the list that we will review next week, and we'll see if, uh, if I get to Bling Ring, too. Cool. Nice. It's TV, it's movies, it's practically culture. Those are our weekend picks. Go forth and watch.